all right so so far we have installed my sql application locally at our computer as a next step we're gonna create a tutorial database for this sql series i have prepared special database just for practicing and tutorial purposes in this tutorial database we will have three tables with few data so all our next tutorials will be based on this tutorial database what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you like some tasks and we're gonna try to solve those tasks using sql codes on top of our tutorial database so as a next i'm gonna show you step by step how to create our tutorial database okay so now the first step is that we're gonna go to the video description and there you will find the link to my website and with that you will find our sql tutorial database so it will look something like this so this is one big code in SQL, around 53 rows. So you don't have to understand all those stuff at the start, but after you finish the series, you will understand what we have done over here. So you will understand how to create a new database, tables, how to insert a new data, and so on. So what we're gonna do is that now is just to copy this script. So in order to do that, you can go over here, and click copy or just go and select everything and copy it so once we copied our tutorial database script we're gonna go to our mysql database and run that all right so step number two go back to mysql workbench and there we're gonna execute our code so we're gonna open new tab sql editor and here we're gonna paste our code so it is around 53 rows in the codes and we're gonna hit run so once we run we have to validate whether everything went perfectly so if you check the left side over here you will find okay we have three databases so where is my tutorial database we just installed in order to see that you're gonna hit on refresh so once you hit on refresh you will see okay we have now our tutorial database DB SQL tutorial. So in order now to browse our new database, we're gonna do the following. Just double click on it, and then go to the tables, and there you will find our three tables. So there we have the table customers, employees, and orders. Okay, so now let's check whether we have all the data in our tutorial database. In order to do that, we can open new tab, just follow me with those steps all the commands we're going to explain them later in the tutorials so i'm just going to retrieve all the informations from each table to check do we have all the data so select star from customers so this guy retrieves the data from the table customers and as you can see we have here table called customers with five customers so we have maria john george martin and peter and in this table, we are storing the general information about each customer, like the first name, the last name, country, and score. Okay, so now let's check one more table. Let's check the orders. So instead of customers, I'm going to replace it with orders and click execute. So with that, we're going to see that we have table orders that stores all the orders that are placed from our customers. So we can see over here, we have the customer ID and we have the order ID and the date when the order is placed and the quantity. So if you want to see the informations of the orders, we're going to check the table orders. If we're going to see the informations about the customers, we're going to check the table customers and so on. So if you have done all these three steps and you have checked the data, that means you have now our tutorial database installed at your local machine and we could proceed with our tutorials. All right, so with that, we have a database with data. And before we start writing our SQL code, we have to learn how to style it. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.